Let's build an AI tool with natural language and no code. Today, we're using a tool called bolt.new. And as you can see on the website, you'll notice that it says, what do you want to build? It's very clear, this tool is designed to be using natural language and no code, and I will show you an example of how to achieve this. To do that, let's say we have a team of sales representatives who are working together. Their goal is, to gather requirements. So as a team member, they will come up with a tool with natural language and come up with the story of what do they want to build. And from there, they will use the tool, the bolt.new, and then using the tool, they will enter the natural language code or prompting that they have designed into the bolt to build the code. And from there, we'll see how Bolt will generate the whole of this AI agent that they are trying to build. And the goal here is how can we take our natural language without any code requirements and put that into Bolt and then use that to create an agent for us at the end of it. So you, if you follow me along, you can create this on your own as well. So I'm excited to see what do you want to build as well as what can we build in this video. Let's start with building the tool. So I wanna say, I want to build an agent that lets me chat with a selection of large language models. And this, there is a new video that I'm working on about how to select the right model. Not every query that you do requires the latest model. And also, some queries can be done by different models. Let's say in your company as you go, you have LLMs trained on your own data. So how do you wanna call that specific model? So the goal here is not only that I wanna build an agent, but I want it to be, have the capability of choosing what model you wanna use. So that's our first thing. Next thing is, I want to select a few different models uh, out of this. So what I do is I am breaking this prompt by these four lines. You don't have to do this, but it's a best practice from my end that I've learned. So I want to be able to select from a different models that when I click on will let me send that message to that specific LLM. So the goal here is I, I'm, I'm clearly mentioning that I want that ability uh, to choose the model that I want. In the next phrase, what I want to do is the goal of the agent is to receive customer data for the website. So let's say we want to call it as uh, the goal of the agent is to retrieve customer data from a website. So I have a customer, I want to get their data, maybe LinkedIn as well and other areas and other socials. So, so start the first prompt asking the customer website URL. Uh, it should accept just www or https and also use chat gpt to retrieve the data that is needed uh, i'm using chat gpt for now because it can reach out the latest model uh, i could also call it chat gpt for o model so i want to use the chat gpt for o model to do that so what do we name our project right so how do we call this so let's also give an instruction saying um, let's call this as how about we call this a customer insight agent? So that's the name that we wanna give. So we already know this. And as you can remember, one of the goals for us is, uh, one, this is a tool that is being created by our sales team. So let's give some insights onto what this tool should be doing. So now that we know the name, we wanna give some basic introduction of what this tool will be doing. So Customer Insight Agent is a powerful research agent uh, tool designed to empower sales and opportunities for the teams by delivering comprehensive and actionable intelligence on target, right? So we can do that by saying this. So this is our initial, um, let's say, description of what this tool should be doing. So after that, I wanna say, let's say we wanna add some key features. So I wanna go, uh, I've actually written this already, but I'm pasting this here just to get an idea. So key features should include company demographics. So that's great. The other one I want to do is financial insights. So that's a great thing to uh, get out of for, the, for our sales team. So the next one is gonna be, let's say we wanna get some uh, web traffic trends as well as some computer analysis for that customer that we have entered. So uh, one of the other things I wanna do is, uh, what is the objective of this, right? So by getting all of this information, I'm actually telling Bolt as well as our developer maybe in future on what we wanna do. This customer insight agent, 
uh, is actually with this, sellers gain an edge they need to craft a personalized uh, outreach strategies uh, to foster meaningful conversation with their customers as well as accelerate their sales cycle. So we know what is the objective. So if we go back, we have been writing all of this in a format where we said, what does it have to do? It needs to have different models. The goal of the thing, what are we calling this one? Before we jump into the next step, we also remember that our goal was to call, use Bolt to talk to different language models. So what I wanna do is I wanna build an API protocol that reaches to these different language models. So in future, we'll have our own language models, but for now I'll use ChatGPT, maybe Preplexity or Cloud or other things. So the goal here is how do we create that API? For me, the goal is I don't want to man maintain each API call. There is a tool called Open Router, which actually is a great tool for us to have a single point of connection. So what does that mean? Basically, Open Router is the one API call you give, and that becomes as a switcher or a hub for you to reach out to whichever model you want to call to. So this Open Router, if you go to Open Router, you'll notice that this router already has 269 models at the moment uh, that are all created as tokens. So we want to use this Open Router model as a, an API. So the goal here is uh, I want to implement with the Open Router uh, API in my, in my application. So I don't know how to do this with code. Uh, I could ask Bolt, uh, but what I have learned is Let's usually I go to perplexity or something and I just want to uh, I just want to paste what I want to do. So the goal here is I want to implement open router API in web application so that I can dynamically call different models uh, and I want to be able to call open AI GPT 4o model 4o mini llama 3.5 uh, and so on it. So I'm asking another GPT on how do I implement this. Either I could go to open router uh, and figure out how to do this. There is documentation on how to do this, how to use the open ASDK and other things. Instead, what I'm doing is I would rather use the free tool that is available for me in order to even not even write that code. So as soon as I enter this, what it will do is it will give me the basic setup I need to do. So it's telling me what's the setup I need to do. What is the implementing API call I need to do? So it says, how do I need to build this? So once we look at this one, if we go back to Bolt again, uh, let me see, I want to paste that basic code setup now. So I understand what it is. So I wanna tell, Bolt now that this is how I want to do this. So I'm gonna start by saying, I want to use the Open Writer AI here. Here is some documentation for your reference. So I've copied the documentation from our uh, perplexity here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take all of that and then I'm gonna paste it here. So what we learn here is if you look back, so one of the first lines is, we have given the code, but we have never given our URL key. So if I go to open router, I can go to docs and, gen, uh, and I can go here and create my own key. So for this example, I've created one key and gave it around $2, but you can create multiple keys. Uh, so I copied that key. So now I'm gonna take that key and then go to bolt. And then what I wanna do is I want to say, this is my key, right? So uh, this is how you can select models and here is my key. So let me paste that one here. So this is, I have selected this. So as an engineer, as an architect, I know these are the things I need. So I was able to uh, put them in here for my video, but usually I was building all of this just by thinking, okay, these are the things I need, but you don't even have to need. You just need to have an idea on what I wanna build, what is the name, uh, I wanna use this API, uh, how can I get that? And then once you paste all of that with your key, then let's say um, in the code, I actually don't see 4O model, but this looks great for now. So uh, let's go ahead. From here, we don't have to do anything. We just click next. So we have given all the prompts we need to give. Uh, we are working towards uh, the Bolt is working towards building all the things that it needs to create this uh, website or an agent for us on the tool. So we could also create iOS apps. I'm making another video where I created an app for myself. Uh, so things like that. So it's already building what configurations it need, what API needs. It will also create an environment for you. Uh, these are all the things on your left side here. You don't need to know, but it's building everything that is required for you to create this application. So. 
let's wait for it to see and also you can see you can see all the code you can also see all the preview that is available for you so as we are moving forward uh, let's hope there is an error because errors are easy way for us to see how to use an AI tool like this uh, but luckily we did not get any error but if you get an error it always tells you how to fix the problem within the Bolt AI itself okay this is great I do not see anything here. So enter your customer's website URL, which is great. So I wanna go by saying www.vanta.com. I was recently listening to this podcast on this company. So let's give this website. It does not do anything when it's processing or gathering that information. So let's see. Oh, wow, that's great. So it has already created the company name for me. It has done this for me already. So it has given me uh, the output of that but I would rather like to have this as a... So let's go to cloud now. Uh, and maybe what I wanna do is I wanna take this information, uh, key product and services. Uh, and let's say we can ask about, let's, let's switch to another cloud, another uh, Llama model. So can you analyze more on the key products and services out of this. So what I'm thinking is it does not keep the context awareness within this application at the moment. So this might not know what has been answered before from a different model. So that's something I want to add. So I'm happy to provide you more analysis on the key factors, SOC2. Oh, this is even amazing. Last time I was doing, so it actually keeps the context for that, which is great. But the thing is, I do not like this layout. Maybe I wanna change something else. So this is great already. We can see within few minutes, we were able to achieve all of this website and also GPT-4. It also comes with icons and everything. Uh, so what I wanna do now is maybe we need a report for this. So let's go ahead and ask for a report. Um, I would like to generate a report that I can print once I get the answers from LLM. So I want to generate a report as well as have the ability to print that report. So let's say if I do that, how it's gonna uh, update our code here. So it's updating the code now and let's go back uh, to reset so we can see what it does in terms of the changes for us. Uh, the only thing I'm thinking is uh, I need to have uh, as I, I would like to have a nice structure, uh, but I like so far, I haven't done any, I haven't given any instructions. We just gave the structure, we just gave the highlights that we need. So based on that, it was able to directly get all of that directly. So let's look at the preview as soon as it finishes. And as you can see, we've started a few minutes ago. So I was able to achieve all of this on my own as a prototype uh, directly from here. Uh, and also we can do a lot of changes even with the UI, how it looks and things like that. So once we get the report, maybe we'll change the positioning of these things and then go from there. Okay, so I'm excited to see what it does. So I do not see the report here. So let's see. Uh, the other thing also, it tells you on what are the changes that it has done. Appears after receiving insight, located on the top left of the corner, clean initiative design. Okay, so let's see if it gives me a report from there. Vanta.com. Okay, so I am waiting. I would really like to add, so it has given the thing for me and it's said generate a report. Okay, that's the button we get. Oh, this is even better. It's a pop-up for us now. So it tells you what a great way and briefing description. Uh, this is great. It also tells you when this was generated which is amazing. So let's say if I wanna print this, I should be able to save it as a PDF. That's even better. Okay, so bold.new, I'm able to save that PDF and let's see if I can open the PDF directly. This is great. So we are already able to extract that and download it into a PDF. Uh, so, but the PDF is not working as it, but we can already see if I download this, what it does, it, it downloads as a JSON. So that's perfect for us. So it's able to generate the report, show the pop-up. It clearly tells you what this is. Um, this is perfect. It tells you the time and everything. So the only thing I'm thinking now is how about we want to change some of the UI aspect. Well, maybe let's change from blue to purple. Uh, uh, 
this is perfect please do not change any structure any code i would say i want this to look even pretty can you please make it colorful so i don't even want to say which color um, so let's i'm just being vague in order to just say how i want to uh, maybe i'm trying to say someone i wish it was prettier or it was cleaner or nicer so let's see how does that uh, prompt work for it and see what are the changes it does i can already see it's adding a lot of accent colors and primary colors uh, so let's see once the whole the code once all of the code is done we can see that it's working uh, so i'm waiting to see uh, in one of the previously we, we have noticed that it has done the changes so this is our old design so as soon as it completes let's see what it does for us I don't know how you are feeling, but I'm so excited that this is something that I can use. You could already see the customer inside agent. There is a new color there. It looks colorful now. It's perfect. It's adding colors to what we need. And as we select as well. Uh, and also one, one, the other thing you could do is you could also have multiple agents available for you as an option. You can have a customer insight agent. You could have a... Um, what do you call you could have a finance insight agent so based on your team you can have multiple agents built directly as a prototype and you could also deploy these things as you go so one of the key things for me is i can easily deploy this i can easily take all of this uh, and publish this uh, they use a netfly or something but you can also deploy it through your github uh, and other areas so there you go as soon as we see this we can see that it has changed the colors for us. Every time I select, that's even better. I didn't even have to say that. It highlights the one that I'm using. It also changed the color here. So this is perfect for now. So I could just go ahead and deploy and download the code from here. So for this video, I thought, okay, let's build something together. So I'm happy to share more of this uh, into uh, notes or something. So please follow me on LinkedIn. Uh, I'm excited to share more of the things on like, how do I develop an iOS core uh, application directly for myself for my specific need? So instead of waiting for others, you can create these things on your own. So thank you so much for joining. Hopefully this has been helpful. Uh, and if you have any questions, please write down below and also follow me on LinkedIn at Ragnar Pitla. Thanks for joining. Have a great day. Bye.